Hey guys, today I'll be showing you my Lego haunted house. I built it all myself, no instructions. It's a one of a kind build. You can never see it anywhere other than this channel. Yeah, I wish, I wish this was a set actually because I did use quite a lot of good pieces in this build. But let's stop talking about this set being I mean this build being a set so before we I start showing you I have to tell you something on our channel we don't just do Lego building videos we do connects building videos Beyblade videos we also have another channel it's called Positube Gaming we do gaming videos such as Minecraft, Cock Novel, Roblox, Balloon, CD Battles, Grand Pyre, Rome, Among Us, Castle Crush and Stick War Legacy so let's start the first place that I want to show you is where every haunted house starts from the very beginning. Right over here. As you can see here is the bit of the entrance where the like for instance skeleton come. Um here are some energy crystals which will keep any intruder away. They will electroshock them electrify shock them when they ever when they when they come in technically no wonder no one here is technically alive other than, than the fact the guy in the grave but yeah then we have over here a little scream mask on a axe if you want i can give you the tutorial for the for the scream mask if you wanted to guys, if this video hits 5 likes, I'll make the video on this separately. If this video hits 10 likes, I'll build it like this. Yeah. So you can also spin, like, when the wind is coming. Like that. So. Uh, so next we go over here to this red pumpkin while I fix it. Okay, so this red pumpkin, see this one? And you remember the orange version that I built in one of my other videos? Technically this one. I built in one of my videos. I built three different colors. Orange here. You can see there. White here, put next to the grey stone. You'll see it later, and the red one, of course, over there. You have two skeletons, two skeletons guarding the entrance. I think that guy's supposed to be over there. There we go. Now he's fully guarding the entrance, or at least standing outside, which doesn't really matter. So next we go on to this fire. Of course it's like a small little table that's set on fire. So anyone who comes in will be chucked onto that piece of fire and they will burn alive. And then over here we have a witch. Yeah, not so special about it. But... It has a frying pot. <laughs> Why do I call it a frying pot? I mean, a brew. I mean, a cauldron. It has a cauldron, and you can have different things in it. And also, secretly, when I was building this, I put a scrambled egg inside it. Not a real one, just a Lego printed one. I'll just quickly show it to you. There you go. If I just quickly get it. Yeah, got the scrambled egg. I put a scrambled egg in there for no reason. Yeah, because I love scrambled eggs. Just yummy. Um, uh, anyway. Of course, the cauldron is on fire. And... Yeah, you might see the witch that I built just like a few days ago. Uh, the head is not that great of a colour, actually. But yeah. So now, now we go on to the main build, which is the heavy thing, the, the haunted house, technically. 
I can't really see the entrance, but uh, the entrance is guarded by two electric shocks like the, and yeah, the door needs a key to be opened. And if you could see in there, there's technically nothing inside. This is just a completely empty room. If I can just just go here a bit. As you can see, there is a skull printed on a one by one tile, like the main piece of the build. We have um, two Minecraft tridents here. It looked pretty cool, actually. Then we have two pickaxes on either side, like so. We also have two gold swords. I mean, I didn't really like the gold swords, so I just placed them on there because in Minecraft, you usually use gold, gold swords for design sometimes. Well, not always, but yeah, I kind of like it. And then we have this little, like, fiery thing, like a candle lit on fire, but it's not technically a candle. You'll see a candle in the grave, which is a bit better. I did, I did mostly the front sim symmetrical on like all the sides of the, no, not like all the sides, but like all the sides of the front. And here we have a window that I accidentally clicked, oh actually I can open it. We just, if you can slightly zoom in there, there's absolutely nothing inside there. So as you can see here, we have like, uh, like shade, like, you know those things that go on top of windows that keep the sunlight from coming in? And you know how vampires will burn in sunlight? I mean, no vampire actually lives in here, but if one did, that's a good idea to put it there. And then we have a little flag to represent that s <clears throat> someone owns, like, someone rules this place. I mean, owning it is a different thing. Ruling it is another different thing. And then as you can see, we have a ton of bats. Well, well not a ton, but like three bats at least. And we have like an extra room. Technically, you, there's nothing in... S there's, it's just really like windows, otherwise, to be honest, not even the tiniest minifigure I have could fit in it. It's just for good design, you know how the, how nearly every haunted house has a small little attic at the top with these little, some have three, some have one, some have two of these, like, roof short roof uh tiles and stuff with these little spikes on top to make it more intimidating and this house is like so tall that you can see it for miles and going for the left side oh wait i i almost forgot about these windows not too important actually <laughs> now going on to the left side here we have a ghost that there's a ghost, a skeleton, well three skeletons, a zombie and a witch who live in this house. Well mostly these are like the skeleton, they're not really like the main people who live in here. The owner of this like haunted house is the ghost because it's holding the staff of ownership. Yeah, I just made that up. Uh, so it's like a special, special staff that you hold, so people know you you own this place or you rule this place. And we have blue. I mean, green, blue, red, purple, like lights and stuff to make it more scary. So now we go. Here, it's a little heavy actually. Um, here we have some different scary heads. Yeah, very scary. 
You might see one familiar, well, two familiar faces in here. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you know which one it is. That's really popular. It's the red one. So we have... So technically these aren't like... They're actually uh, heads that have been designed by the witch. This is an orc. <laughs> uh, this one is a... Like... Ghost. A black ghost. This one... I bet you know, uh, you. I bet you all know who that is, a Spider-Man. <laughs> and this is the penguin from Spider-Man. Here we, here we have um, a little stand with a gold ore on top of it. And we have two lasers over here with another one like this. And here we have a wall of spikes, which right now that I'm doing really hurts my finger. And that's technically what it's supposed to do. Well, no, not hurt your finger. It's supposed to protect the place, I guess. And now, moving on. Yeah, you see these two bats. Now you know where the other two are. Moving on. Go to the very last side you'll ever see of this place. We have the um, not really much of the interesting side, I would say. <clears throat> so here we have a light with fire on, a ton of teeth actually. I actually missed the bits with the teeth on the that side with the orange, you know. Yeah, and we have lots of teeth. How that hurt? Um. <laughs> This place is so old that it's literally infested with spiders, spider webs, bats, and all sorts of creatures you would ever think of. Except a lion, an elephant, and all the big ones, technically. Mostly insects and bats. Here we have another anchor. Um, and here's the orange pumpkin that I was talking about. The one that I built in the video. Here we have another table of fire that I showed you. Uh, technically, I showed you at the start of the video. Yeah, not not that not that important anymore since I talked about it at the beginning. And here we have a white pumpkin representing all the ghosts who once stayed here. The ghost pumpkin. I want to call that that. I actually named this the regular pumpkin, the red one, the scary pumpkin, and the white one, the ghost pumpkin. Anyway, time for my favorite bit. The graveyard. Not really, not really the greatest place to go since you would suddenly see a zombie rising out of the ground. Yeah, this is what you see here. It might seem a bit strange how there's a human head with human hair, but a zombie body. And some brown jeans on. <laughs> yeah. Here's the grave door, as you can see. Not really uh, that much to talk about it. Uh, like, he's, he, he just woke up from his uh, one billion year sleep and he put it aside over there. Uh, like so. And we have all these different flowers in the graveyard, even though... Um, it doesn't make sense to put flowers in somewhere scary, but since it's a graveyard, it makes a bit more sense. And here are the walls of the graveyard. We have a skeleton, the third skeleton that I was talking about. A drowned in Minecraft, well, technically an underwater zombie, you could call it. A very, very unlikely rat and a chest full of a chain. Um, yeah, that. Uh, we have, we have like all this bones. Well, that's not a bone, but this is a bone. Uh, this is a hand. <laughs> I just put that there so it look a bit more scary. 
like all these germs and stuff coming out of the arm and then the rest is filled with one ring and blood as you can see the Let me just put them back in there. Then we have all these different gravestones just lying around. <laughs> to be honest, it makes sense how this one's more important because it has a chest next to it. And it's more interesting. Um, here we have gravestones, I guess. The main point of Halloween is mostly pumpkins and gravestones because they're scary. But yeah. And these are like the pathway and plants everywhere. It's overgrown for nearly like a trillion years of life in this place. And there's... The candles, um, as you can see. There's one candle for every gravestone. So people place this here to remember the souls of the people who once lived. Yeah, that kind of made me sad once I said that. Even though I'm supposed to be scary, not sad. Then here we have the Taser Walls of Doom, as I like to call them. They have chains. Touch it. You're dead. You're in here. So guys, that is it, I guess. Except for those stone pathways. <laughs> yeah. So. Here it is. So guys. Um, if you want to see a tutorial. For the screen mask and the axe. Make sure to like and subscribe. And guys, if this video hits um, about a hundred views um, in a week, I will make a video of the gravestone with the person awoken with a open grave. With a not the chest included, but if you wanted to, I could. I mean, I will. Not really. Yeah. And, and of course, how would I forget about these taser walls of doom or that cauldron that has a, that used to have a scrambled egg inside it. Um, and yeah, that terrifying scream mask or that you can already build it, I guess. And uh, yeah, I might soon miss out something, but then I'll just realize it after this video and I'll try and build it soon. But yeah. I guess that's the full, full show, I guess. I bet you haven't seen me in nearly the whole video. So guys, here it is. My masterpiece. I wish it was a set so you guys can enjoy it, enjoy it by playing it with it too. Yeah, so. Here is the finished thing. Have a good look at it, because you might never see it again. So I hope you guys like it, subscribe to see my videos. Bye guys, happy Halloween.